The bar chart is suitable for comparing multiple values. The dimension axis shows the category items that are compared, and the measure axis shows the value for each category item. Dimensions serve to group values to create bars or bar segments, and the height or length of those bars is determined by the measure values. You can also orient bars vertically or horizontally. When you add a second dimension or multiple measures to your bar chart, the dimensional data forms a grouped bar. These can be placed side by side as separate bars or stacked as segments to form a single bar for each group. The bar chart is also useful when you want to compare values side by side. For example, sales compared to forecast for different years or when the measures are calculated using the same unit. The bar chart is easy to read and understand. You get a good overview of values when using bar charts. The bar chart does not work as well with many dimension values due to the limitation of the axis length. If the dimensions do not fit, you can scroll using the scroll bar, but then you might not get the full picture. To create a bar chart in ClickSense, select the bar chart object from the Assets panel and drag and drop it to your sheet. Add a dimension, for example, Customer. Then add a measure, for example, the sum of sales. In this case, we are going to exclude the null values and we are going to limit the number of values to the top five customers. We will hide the other values. Then we will add a title to the visualization. In the presentation, select Horizontal. Then we will turn on the values labels so they will be displayed inside the bars. You can present your bar chart in different ways. In this new example, we are going to create another bar chart that will show the sales by product group. Then we are going to add the margin. As you can see, the two measures will be grouped together. As before, we are going to add a title to the visualization. And, as a subtitle, we are going to add an expression to calculate the sum of sales. A grouped bar chart can also be displayed as a stacked bar chart, which is useful when you are displaying a large amount of data. In this example, we are going to add three measures to the bar chart. We will select the Stacked option to make the visualization easier to understand. You can also create a bar chart using only a single measure. In this case, we add one measure to the bar chart and it will display a chart with a single bar showing the sum of cost of sales. You can also add labels on stacked bar segments. In this example, we create a bar chart showing the sales by year and quarter. Then we select the stacked and horizontal presentation options. We are going to enable the value labels and segment labels, as well as disable the total labels. Then, we select the options to show the labels only in both Y and X axis. Then we are going to add an expression to calculate the percentage of the total. In this way, the bars will show the percentage of the sales in the labels instead of the sales value. A stacked bar chart can also be used to display both positive and negative values. In this case, we add year as dimension. Then, we add a positive expression to calculate the sum of sales divided by 1,000, and then add an expression to calculate the sum of cost divided by 1,000, shown as a negative value. As you can see, 
the visualization will now show the sum of sales as positive values and the sum of costs as a negative value. You can then select the stacked option and customize the chart the way you prefer. You can also customize the stroke, color, and width, as well as the bar width. In this example, we are going to change the color of the visualization to green. Then, we are going to set the outline width to small and select the outline color to a lighter green. Then, you can increase or decrease the bar width using the slider. You also have different options to set the number of bars. In this case, we will color the bar chart by dimension. But you can also set the number of bars to max. In this way, the dimensions values will show the maximum number of values. If you have a large amount of data and you want to visualize just a selected number of values, you can set a maximum number of values to show. In this case, we set it to 12. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.